Hi everyone, welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my big happy planner for the week of May 10th through 16th. So let's go ahead and get these off the discs. Here's a little bit of a sneak peek of last week after the pen. Okay, there we go. All right, so I pulled out Biz Babe, which I've used before in my dashboard. I don't think I've used it in my classic, but I've used it in my dashboard. Um, and the stickers that it coordinates so perfectly with are from the Flower Power Mega Book. So like these blues, um, pinks, I mean, not all of the stickers coordinate perfectly, but I feel like a decent amount of them do. So this is kind of what I'm going to be using. I also pulled out stickers from Proud Sticker Designs on Etsy. I have these gray, navy, and pink because look how perfect those are. I also just accidentally peeled one of these box stickers up as I was separating those. So let me put it back in here. Okay. So this just gives me the opportunity to have more boxes. I don't always do well with floral, with boxes that have flowers inside. So I thought these are a good option, but we'll kind of see how this goes. So I always get a little stressed out when I'm trying to pull from the mega books, like they're big. <laughs> All right, let me pull off these two sheets. I'm just going to rip them out of the book. At some point, I'm going to organize these because I've been pulling out a lot of stickers from the mega books and um, they're getting a little, a little out of hand, but I find it much easier to pull them out versus, um, I lost my words, versus flipping through it because it's just big and it takes up a lot of space. So I'm going to put that to the side for now. And then I have some wax paper. And we're just going to kind of go through this sticker book. I'm going to have this next to me. Can you see it? Yeah. So that I can see the colors and then choose some stickers that will work well in this spread. So like these. I'm going to pull this out. Might be using it differently than intended, but like this discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. That's how I feel in terms of a budget, <laughs> is that that's what discipline is. Okay, I also wanna be sure I'm combining these, so I'm also grabbing Find Your Roots, but Reach for the Sky. All right, and then don't forget to rest. I was having this conversation yesterday about like needing rest and scheduling time to rest, and I just think it's so important, like this weekend, I've had a really good weekend. I'm filming this on Sunday. So the same day it's going up, which never happens. Um, it's been a great weekend, but it's been busy. And this morning I just like stayed in bed for a couple of hours just to give myself some time to rest because it's important. And I know it's going to be a busy afternoon because of Mother's Day. So I just think it's really necessary to focus on giving yourself that rest time. I'm just going to continue pulling these out. Yesterday, I had the coolest day. I went into New York City, which is a quick train ride for me, like 12 minutes. And um, I first had brunch with Lakin, a plan with Lakin. And then afterwards, I went and met up with Jasmine of Jazz with the Plan. So it was two uh, friends days, which was great because I haven't met either of them in person before. And so it was really cool. Maybe I'll take this pink one. It was really cool to be able to meet friends in person who I've connected with on social media. So I highly recommend it. Okay. Like this, the key to success is to start before you're ready. I know I'm pulling out a lot here. I also like these, but let's see, top three. Mm, I kind of would just want to use them as boxes instead of where those are. All right, let me grab some of these habit trackers. Let's do two of them. And weather permitting, my habits this week will be 
uh, reading every day and getting outside just to like take a quick walk every day. So those are my goals. Okay, here we go. This is cool. If there's another sticker that looks like this, I'll use it. I, I have to tell you, as I'm going through this, I feel like it's not matching this as well as I thought it would. Like I almost want to put this back and see if I can just focus on Biz Babe because I think this is the only sticker I took out of here. I mean, the flowers can be added in, but in terms of the box quotes and stuff, I think I'm really just going to stick with this. Okay. There's so many good stickers in here. Like, why do I not use this sticker book more often? All right, let's just start to like put some things down. So I want to grab this all the things sticker. And I'm going to put it right down here. somewhat straight, oh, a little bit crooked. It's okay. We're just going to get all the things right there. And then I actually think I'm going to move this all the things sticker because I like to start Monday with a quote, but I want to probably put a quote up here, but I don't want quotes next to each other. So I'm going to move this sticker up. So I'm going to grab my undo. Go. I know a little goes a long way here, so I'm going to be going a little bit slowly just to try to really get all of this somewhat saturated. Okay, I think every part of the sticker has undo on it now. Get this capped back up. The smell it is strong. And in the meantime, I want to cover up this little note part. So I'm going to use the Paper Mate Dry Line Ultra to do that. Okay. And then let's peel this up. There we go. I think that's like my most successful experience with undo so far. All right. And let's line this up using the grid here. There we go, all the things. Oh, that smell is strong. Okay, now I can probably take some kind of quote and let's see, there's these really good word quotes. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. How about this, working on you is always a good investment. That right down there, and then grab some of these habit trackers. So maybe I can do a, let's grab this week as sort of a heading for these habit trackers. And take this one. And this one. Okay, I like I like that sidebar. All right, now let's do the key to success is to start before you're ready. And I think I want to grab one of these pink boxes, pink, gray. Let me just look again through the boxes here. I like this bigger pink box. But I don't love that it has the like a longer box here. I almost want to I think I'm gonna trim it. Let's trim this edge off here. I got cut off a little bit there, but I'm taking my Univol Signo and covering up the black lines and just sort of layering this pink box right over there. Okay, now I'm going to take out my pencil and mark off areas that I'd like to put a check, a check box in. So for a while I was doing this thing where I'm not filling up Mondays. Um, last week I did not succeed. I filled up Monday and I honestly regretted it. So I think I'm going to give myself, I'm not going to put a checklist in there, but I'm, I, there's not a ton of room here, so I can give myself a couple of to-dos, especially because I really didn't get much done 
this weekend, having a busy weekend. So I might still have to get some things accomplished. All right, and let's put one right over here and here. And then Friday, I don't know if I'm gonna really have the opportunity, how much I'm gonna have the opportunity to do this weekend again, but we'll see. It's like as things are opening up and plans are happening with other people in my life who are also vaccinated, it's like, okay, this is time to <laughs> be social again and, and see people again. I do kind of feel like I need some checklists up here though, because then like this whole area is empty. So let's put Fridays there. And maybe we'll put, no, because if I move this, then this whole thing is empty. Okay, I'm just going to go day by day and we're going to get this figured out. All right, now, so Tuesday, I have, I have a bill due Tuesday. So I'm going to grab another box for that. Um, let's see. I'm feeling a little lost with this spread, even though I don't know why. can probably take one of these and put it up there or I can put it right over here. No, I'll put it up here so this way I can always use a quote or something down in this area. Or maybe this is an opportunity for a flower. So I had these florals that I pulled out. Let's see, I mean this pink is gonna be like way too big for that section. but it doesn't mean I can't cut it. So let me pull this off. Oh. I'm just sort of trying to gauge. I don't know. Uh, this is where I'm feeling a little stuck. Okay, let's go look back through this for a minute. Maybe a quote will work for now instead. Set a goal that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. I like that. Okay, let's get that down. Cool. So now Wednesday, um, I wonder if I can use these checklists instead of like checklist boxes. I will need to trim this one off, especially because I don't want it to be a day filled with checks. I don't know, that looks weird, right? I don't really like it. Let me try another one, see how I feel. I think because they're classic size checklists and this is a big planner, I think I probably just do better with the actual checklist stencils. Maybe instead of using these the way they are intended, what if we kind of use them as like decorative strips? So if I take this one, just kind of put it there. Trim that. I know it's a little weird because technically they are for checking things off, but it might it might work. All right, I've decided I'm not a fan of this checklist. No, I like keep taking things off the spread. This is one of those spreads where, to be honest with you, I'm kind of feeling like giving up on filming it and just sitting on my couch and <laughs> doing this rep, but I'm not going to. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with it. I also would like to move this sticker, if I can, up a little bit higher. There we go. We are going to truck through because you're watching. I'm filming. We're going to, we're going to make it work. I also just grabbed some of this grid washi that I'm loving lately. Um, because I think that'll sort of help break up some of the the white space. Although, what is on that? It's weird. Okay. It's like something let pink on it. And I looked at my nails. It's like, I don't have pink nails right now. I don't know where that came from. All right. And let's just sort of rip this off. Okay. 
just to do something a little fun. I don't know if this is working or not, but we're going to keep going. Okay. And then I have a quote there, so I don't really need one there, but let's bring in a box. So I like these gray boxes a lot. I kind of want it to be a double box. So what I'm going to do is trim off the edge here. And let's put that down. And I'm doing it a little bit off center just to add some more white space here. And then trim off this edge. Now I just need to like really focus putting this down, making sure that these line up properly. So I'm gonna line them up at the gray lines. And again, these stickers are from Proud Sticker Designs. Uh, Nicole has an Etsy shop and you can save 20% on your order by using code Elise20. I'll have it linked below. This is a little bit off, but I'm, I'm sticking with it. I can't spend this whole spread moving things around this whole video. All right, so Wednesday, let's take one of these bigger quotes here on Wednesday and let's grab Make It Happen. And then I'm gonna take another gray box and we'll put that right down here. And now I'm kind of looking back at this pink floral. think we'll just like stick it right there all right here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my knife to cut this instead of a scissor because it's a big sticker sometimes it can be hard to cut with a scissor so we'll just sort of make this a full box floral sticker There we go. All right, I think that's fine. Let's put this back on so I don't slice myself and continue through Wednesday. So um, if I have the checklists down here, I'm gonna wanna put a box over here. So let's take this pink box that I originally trimmed a little bit and we'll do this and then grab, don't forget to rest kind of just stick that up there on the corner and then what else is coming up this week let me see I'm not sure yet what I want to do Wednesday maybe I'll just put the other pink flower that I have right over there that might that might work and I also want to bring in this washi right here when I'm doing, putting washi in my spreads, like I have to remember to use it. Otherwise I'll forget and it'll be like a little bit over here and then there won't be any <laughs> over here at all. Okay, I'm gonna take some more quotes. You are a world changer born to conquer and shine. And let's put that sticker I don't know if I'm right there. Let's put it right here on Friday. And then I want to continue going through this book a little bit. Let's kind of start again here. Um, how about today's list? Let's kind of put that above, like sort of um, put it right here to sort of lead off that checklist. And I'm also just looking at colors, making sure that I'm being kind of even through the pink. Where did the gray come in? I think the gray really just came from the Flower Power Mega Book, and that's why I started to bring that color in. But I think gray is a pretty complement to this and not an, a color I see in my planner that often. Okay. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. I like that, but I don't like that it's... Is there another box quote? Okay. Um, I don't like the mustard that's in there, the mustard color. I want to grab this because I have one of these quotes. So I wanna sort of bring those in together. But if I peel up this corner right here, 
can we sort of get this to layer over that? Start and end every day with gratitude and don't forget to rest. I like this little area that's happening. Okay, move this over Saturday. I'm gonna put this sticker. I don't know if I wanna put it up here. I think I'm gonna put it up here. Saturday, I am driving to go visit Mary Ellen of Planning with Bumble, which I'm excited for. So let's have that make an impression. I don't really need that part of the quote on there, but um, it's sort of like a travel plan. Although as I'm doing that, I'm wondering if there's a better sticker in the travel sticker book. So let me grab that real quick. Departure info. I mean, I'm driving, so I don't really need that like departure thing. There are some pinks in there, but I've used them. I guess I've used a lot of these. There's that yellow, the blue I've used. Let's go. What about that? Instead of this who, what, where thing. Because that's sort of meant for an appointment. This is kind of fun. All right, let's go. And I'll leave this open for whatever plans end up being that day. And now I think this other pink flower I'm gonna put in this top corner. Although I just remember that I saw this weekends are for recharging sticker. So let's put this one right there and take this flower. Okay, it's coming together. It's a little bit of a mess, but it's coming together. Um, I'm just gonna put that on my arm to kind of remove even more of the sticky since I'm slicing this sticker up. Okay. And then trim off this corner. And I try to press like firmly, but pretty light. So I'm not cutting through the page. I'm just cutting through that one layer of sticker when I do this. There we go. Looks like the page is safe. I think I cut down here too. Yep, I did. Okay, putting back this. I move this over and let's sort of re-figure this out because I sort of, I have more things that I wanted to put in this spread. So I'm going to kind of get, stand up and get a better angle of this. Um, I'm going to take like this Navy sticker. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. I'm going to put that a little bit higher up so that I can add some of this gray down here. This weekend's for recharging is so crooked, you were probably like, Elise, what in the world are you thinking? <laughs> I may move this over so it's kind of a little bit more towards Sunday because I'll be driving home Sunday, but then I'll have to do, you know, my Sunday stuff. Food shopping, cleaning, organizing my planners, all that fun, all that fun stuff. Okay. Um, this is crooked as well. I don't know why I can't seem to put a sticker down straight today. This is why standing up sort of gives me a better angle sometimes. Today list. All right, I also really liked this Be the Kind One sticker. I'm gonna put that right over there on the corner. And then I don't know if I'm gonna need these focus stickers or not. I do have some things I absolutely have to focus on this week. So maybe I'll bring it right over here. Well, I have one major thing I need to focus on. Um, so I'll put that there as sort of a reminder. And Friday, I could put a box Friday. We could do another gray box. How about that? I 
and see if there's a sticker in this sticker book I can use as maybe a header for that. Because I know Friday I'm having dinner with a friend. I don't know if this sticker book is going to have any, I'm not, I'm not looking for dinner specifically. I'm just looking for something like fun or yay or today, <laughs> something like that. So let's see. Big ideas. I mean, I know this is business focused. Um, I could just use one of these little, one of these little guys. Thumbs up. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it be and sort of fill it in throughout the week. Like I can always add something else into it later on. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay. Um, I think we might be good. This is an interesting spread. I don't like, I feel like I say this a lot, but I'll say it again. Sometimes I have a perfect idea in my head of how things are going to come out and then it doesn't always work. Um, this one, I wouldn't say it doesn't work. It just became a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So that's sort of where I'm at with this spread, but it's one that is pretty and I'm excited to plan with it this week because as I'm looking at it, it's functional, right? Like there's inspiration because there's quotes, there's boxes to fill in, there are checklists. I have, I can do like gratitude here or I can do a brain dump. I have habit trackers, like all of the elements of a good spread to me are here, but all a good spread means is that you like it and you want to plan in it. So that's where I'm at. Um, I also just want to mention that Monday the 10th, whoops, is the last day to sign up for May membership for Wild University. This month's monthly major is Kendra Adachi, who wrote The Lazy Genius Way, which I read last week and absolutely loved it. I'll also link that book in the description of this video. And the monthly minor is Stephanie Barron Hall, teaching you all about Enneagrams. I also have two courses in Wild University. One is creating your perfect catch-all planning system, and the other is teaching you all about how to do Instagram Reels. So if you are interested, the monthly and annual membership um, links are in the description of this video too. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and if you are not already subscribed, I would love if you took a moment to click that button below and subscribe and I'll see you next time.